Now we're going to try and find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity for any given value of x. Uh, but before we can really tackle this, um, th there are some things that I need you to, uh, to understand. So, uh, so maybe this video will be spent on trying to, to get you to understand the things that we need in order to uh, define the limit of this. So first, let's, let's try and understand this sequence. So for any given value of x, let's say, let's say for, 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 for this example, let's say x is 7. So x here is 7. So for the first term, it would be us putting 1 into this n here, putting 1 into this n here. So the first term would be this. So this is, uh, this is for the first term. And then for the second term would be this, n equals 2. So when you put 2 into here and into here, it will then give you this. So, so for the case of n equals 7, it will give you this sequence here. This, this, this. So, so for you to find the limit as n tends to infinity, it's really you. So this is n here. n1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 all the way, all the way, even, even further than, sorry, not 5 here, uh, even further than 9, 98. What would this term be, basically, as n tends to, as n tends to infinity? What would this value be? What, what is the pattern? What, where is it heading towards? So you finding out the limit of this, it's really you. So you finding out the, the limit of this, it's really you trying to find out this term here, as n tends to infinity. What would this term be? So, so for any, for any given x here, x could be anything. For example, x could be 83. So for your, for your first term, it would be this. Second term, third, fourth, fifth, and then blah, 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 blah. What, uh, even further than this, even further than this, as, as n tends to, to infinity, what would be the value of this fraction here? What would be the value of this? Or, well, remember, for any given value of x, so, uh, so let's say x, x could be a negative number. So, uh, so here it's negative 7. So the first term will be this. Second term will be this. Third, fourth, blah, blah, blah. And even further than this, even further than this, what would be the value of this fraction here? So, so that's, that's what is meant by, by finding out the limit uh, of this as n tends to infinity. So now I need you, before we can really tackle this, I now need you to understand some, some other things before, before we can really tackle it. So, I will continue in the next video.